What's up, everybody? That's been done already by somebody who does it much better. <laughs> Recently, Peter McKinnon reviewed the Switch Pod and was over the moon with it. So excited about it. But you know, Peter McKinnon can't always be right. After all, he's only human. Hi, I'm not Peter McKinnon. I'm Arnie Jacobson, where we talk about travel, camera gear, and tech. And if you're into any of those three things, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button down below. Don't forget, click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. Oh, and don't forget, make sure to check the show notes down in the YouTube description for more details. Now, while I trust Peter McKinnon, why don't we just take a couple of minutes Look at the switch pod out for ourselves and figure out whether we agree. In this episode that I'm calling Friday, um, I don't know. <laughs> what should I call it? Got any suggestions? Leave them down in the uh, comment section below. Keep it clean. We all know about that bendy tripod introduced by Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon, and me. And other stellar creators use. Did you notice how I kind of snuck myself in there with all the other? Okay. Pretty clever, huh? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Obviously, this is the Joby Gorilla Pod, and like almost everybody, we have this love-hate relationship with it. It it really has, you know, kind of do, does the job. It's nice and flexible. You can bend it to get, give yourself a little bit more, um, you know, angle. But right in here is one of those things that kind of don't like about it. I didn't even plan that. So yeah, you know, there are things that, that just are, are a pain. I love it. You know, I've used, I've used them off and on for years now. And uh, that happens to be one of the things as they get older, they kind of start to pop apart. And then when you want to, you know, set it back down, then you've got to go through the whole straightening out thing and you never have it quite straight again. So, you know, it's, it's got a little bit of a, just a, it's got its downsides. Let's put it that way. Do like the ball head that you can get on it now. That's pretty nice. So, yeah, love it, hate it. The other tripod that I use a lot, and actually probably even more than the Gorillapod, is the Sirui 3T35K, I think that's what it is called. And this one I like a lot. It, it has a lot of flexibility also. It has, you know, the feet that flip down. You can make it into the nice tripod. So it's like that, super. Also has this twist knob here that allows you to extend it giving you a little bit more height and a little bit more reach and it also has a ball head on it so you know it has a lot a lot of great features and I've really really liked using it right now I have the clamp on here for my Osmo pocket which is another um, product that I really like using a lot and you can find out more by clicking up here in the in the uh, cards so love this one but as we know there's been this new launch on Kickstarter by Pat Flynn and Caleb Wachik I think forgive me Caleb if I mispronounced your name if you see this and it really has taken the photography the 
the vlogging world by storm. Everybody is waiting for this breathlessly. And there's some good reasons for that. One is that curved handle you see that, you know, instead of being this straight thing, it you hold it like this and it swings out and gives you that nice curvature and rises up and gets it a little bit farther away and it's, it's easier to handle. So that curved handle is really something that people are excited about. Also, when you look at it, you'll notice that it has indentations for your um, fingers to hold on to it, making it you know a little more comfortable. I kind of like that also. We'll see. Obviously, I don't have one to try out right now. I'm not in that select group. <laughs> Even though I have asked Caleb, but no, not going to happen. Um, so the other thing that makes the it makes this so attractive is its versatility. It goes from being held in your hand as a vlogging tripod to me, and then you can flip it with a flick of your wrist. It opens up. You can set it down, and then you've got this nice tripod. Also, really, really handy. Now, as much as I'm looking forward to it, and I have one, I've ordered one, there are some things that are kind of like a little bit of a downside. Uh, one is that it has no ball head on it, but, you know, I've got enough ball heads. <laughs> ball head here, ball head on the Surui, so that's not a huge issue. Most of us have a ball head that we can place on there. And the other thing is that it uh, it's only one level. You can't raise it up, raise it, or lower it. So, you know, that's a little bit of a hassle. But, you know, one of the things that I want to po point out here is that, you know, it's not supposed to be the be-all, end-all of tripods. There are times when this will still be the tripod you might want to use when you want to wrap it around something. We all know how these things work. We, you know, they've been around for a long time. So, yeah, you know, this has its has its merits. It's flex is more flexible for that kind of thing. So, you know, don't don't think that it's going to be wow. This is the last tripod I'm ever going to have to buy in my vlogging experience. Not going to happen. You're just going to have to get your hands on one when they're released and try it out yourself. You can back the Kickstarter campaign. We got a link down below. And, you know, I, I believe it's already fully funded, but there still might be some, you know, um, what are they, I can't remember what it's called when they, their um, benefit levels. Give it a shot. They're gonna be shipping, uh, they say by August. And I saw yesterday that they're, planning, they're hoping to be able to release them sooner. So keeping our fingers crossed, I want to have it before we head to Europe in a few months. So pretty excited about it. All right. Hey, if you like this kind of content, make sure to leave a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe. Just click that subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the bell. Thanks for stopping by. We do appreciate it. See you next time.